My name is Cannabis Rollins. My journey is beginning. A journey that I hope will open the doors of life to me and link my past with my future. A journey that will bring me to a strange and dark place. From Hammerfell to Skyrim to a house called Rollinwood. A world that I have never known with people I have never met. People who tonight are still only shadows in my mind, but who will soon fill the days and nights of my tomorrow. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Ah, Winterhold. It's been so long since I've been here. It's hard to even believe that I'm the Archmage of the College of Winterhold. Yet I am. What's it been, months since I've last set foot here? Inside the Frozen Hearth Inn. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. All right. The Night Mother has sent me here. I thought... for a contract. Wait, is this another one of those large children? <laughs> I understand Courier's been complaining about our customers again. What of it? It's our inn, and they cause him no harm. I believe he was suggesting their presence causes him harm. Well, then he's welcome to eat and drink at home, isn't he? All right, who exactly am I looking for? Alright, Vala has shown to be quite resourceful. We have added another member to the family. While Vala gets some much-deserved rest, I'm off to Winterhold to speak with an alchemist for a solo contract. While this is not the typical work of a listener, I yearn for my days as a simple cutthroat and have decided to take this contract. couldn't have written that better myself. All right, so it seems like I need to go outside, but isn't the alchemist here? Maybe they have a shop somewhere. It has been a while since I've been here. Who knows what may have changed? Interesting. So it seems that Winterhold is prospering. All these buildings, people. And look. You. Are you the alchemist? Expecting you. I'm sure you have. And what can we do for you? I need your help. I have been testing a powerful poison, and I am preparing it for its final stage. There is a mage who lives in a cave around here. He stole from me. So I ask, who better to try an experimental poison on? <laughs> I need you to try this on him. I can give you a bonus if you can collect a sample of his blood in this container. Mm, blood. Now you're talking. All right. So this thief. How far away is he? Who is this? 
Good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Yes, as you were. So is this a blacksmith shop here? You people have really come a long way. Need something? Greetings. Good to see you. You as well. All right then. Hmm, so it does seem to be a functional blacksmith. And I even saw a smelter, yes, here. Well. I'm glad to see these people are thriving. Now, let me check my map. Hmm, Hobbs Fall. Alright. Shadow Mayor, stay here. Hmm, blood. Oh, it's making me hungry. Who? Who's injured? There's more blood. What is going on here? If I didn't know better, I'd think this was a trap. I don't see any more blood or smell it. Hmm. Someone calling for help. I think I hear skeletons. Oh, yes. I was going to say, I would have been disappointed if there was just one. Ah. <laughs> Nothing like being electrocuted in your own chair. <laughs> Necromancer, too. <laughs> oh, well. Doesn't look like they have anything of value to me. Suppose, though. I always like to have a little company. <laughs> oh, look, a soul gem. All right. My good necromancer friend, we have some work to do. I often wondered why those skeleton bones creak so loudly. Has to take care of that. Uh, 
Uh oh. That's never good. Never good when you hear metal on flesh and bone like that. yourself, didn't you? <laughs> you fool if you think that you can defeat me. <laughs> and for your presumptuousness, it's time for me to drink your blood. Just in case there's anyone else. You will do my bidding. <laughs> oh, the Night Mother knew I needed this. My powers are at their peak. It's time that I exercised them. Another skeleton. Ah, oh, and a necromancer. It's all right. I've taken care of them. strength up. If I didn't know better, it sounds like scores of skeletons. Oh, look. Kill her. My. Oh well, and he was taken down by a skeleton. <laughs> yes, 
rest in pieces. <laughs> Who's left? Oh, please. Now, there was someone that ran off this way. Suppose he's gone. Headless adversary that poses no danger. There. All right, I think I want to raise another zombie. There we are. Maybe not as powerful as the last one, but you'll do. Pieces of gold. That will hardly do. Even sure if this is the right way, the arrow was pointing in the other direction. Ah, ah, frost, though. Frost is the least of my concerns. Oh, here comes someone. Let me stir them up. Oh, they turned away. <laughs> A mystic arch necromancer. Probably more powerful than you. suppose if I kept practicing my craft, one day I might be able to raise two of you at a time. Hmm, look at this. Why are you going backwards? Here they come. Hello? 
goodbye. <laughs> Oh wait, I'm supposed to be using poison on someone. Hopefully I'll know when the time comes. Is someone there? <laughs> what do you think? That poison has quite a bite to it. <laughs> These fools are so out of their class. All right, and you didn't even enter the fight. Hmm. So I still haven't discovered who it is I'm supposed to test the poison on. A supernatural necromancer. Wait, who's detecting me? Well, I'm sure you'll protect me. <laughs> Larina. What's so special about Lorena, I wonder? Hmm, Pantia's flute, isn't that, uh... I think someone might be looking for that. A dark elf and a red guard. All right, I suppose then I have to head back. Then return. Well, it certainly got a lot quieter in here. skeletons. I have a feeling I'm not looking in the right direction. They below us, yes. Ah, quite far below. Supposed to poison him, though. The problem is, I have so many poisons, I don't know which one it is.
this one, perhaps? Huh, and of course, my weapon's already poisoned. moment, sir. There we are. Just a moment is all I needed to poison my blade. And look at this. A stone of Baron Zaya. Who would have thought? <laughs> sure what all that fighting is up there. All right. Let me harvest some blood. And let me drink some blood. Alright, he has nothing on him. Well, thank you for whatever was going on upstairs. Let's see if I can get out of here. What? You're still alive. I'm gonna have to do something about that. <laughs> <At last. laughs> yes, indeed. At last. All right, Shadow Mare, my work here is done. Let's see if we can find this alchemist. There. Ha! Huh. Almost where we left him. Olin. He's dead. Well done, my friend. Ah, and you've collected a blood sample. Excellent. Here's your reward. Plus a nice bonus for a job well done. I appreciate... ...your business. <laughs> Alright, I have one more thing to do before I go back to the Night Mother. The Night Mother scolded me when she found out that I turned the shopkeeper into a vampire. She wants me to destroy him. But I have no idea if he is still here in Whiterun. Can't a woman get a moment to herself? <laughs> Leave me. Ah, uh, here he is. I'm not going to warn you again. Get out or I'll call the guards. All right, I'm leaving. Oh, he came out with me. And went right back inside. <laughs> hmm. It seems like he's doing well for himself. But who knows, he could be suffering in agony 
because he wanted to die along with the rest of his family. Oh, Alaba. You would be in the way. What time is it? If I wait until a little bit later, she'll go to bed. Try this again. All right, she's going to sleep. Good. All right. Do you want to continue? your existence as a, as a vampire. <sighs> oh, you make this so hard. I must do what Mother tells me. At last, you You're can not rest. To be here. I'm sure I'm not. You know, I had another thought. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Something about it being your, uh, oh, inheritance. Oh, and sorry for your loss. Looks like that's it. Got to go. I had a thought, maybe, Olava, being old and lonely, appreciated the company of a vampire. Maybe the two of them could have lived together until her final days. What if I just broke up a, a happy union? Night, Mother, you make things so complicated sometimes. <laughs> All right, I think this letter I got was probably my inheritance for killing Coil. Yes. Coil's death, 400 gold. Well, it's, it's nice that he thought of me that way. Maybe he was happy. Maybe I should have let him live with Olava in peace. <sighs> anyway, I can't think about that now. <laughs> 